China healthcare sector has attracted lots of investors' attention in recent years, such as capital flows, number of IPOs, and of course, the resilient equity performance. We think the sector's positive growth outlook remains intact as China healthcare is still in the early stage of developments and it is supported by various structural factors. First, demographic transition plays a role to drive the sector outlook. Population over 65 years of age is expected to reach 366 million by 2050, exceeding the combined numbers of the US, Japan, and Europe. The incremental demand from the aging population to cure chronic disease would require a more robust healthcare system and improved access to affordable and quality drugs. However, medical expenditure in China still lacks many other markets, making up only 6.5% of the total GDP. In addition to the aging population, the growing affluent class in China shall also drive increasing demand for premium medical products and services, such as aesthetic medicines. All this calls for the need to ramp up healthcare investment and implies the massive potential growth of the industry. Secondly, and most importantly, the sector reform is the key main factor to unlock the growth potentials of the sector. The current reform agenda has never been more active in the China healthcare history. For instance, in 2018, Chinese authorities launched a central procurement program as known as the Group Purchase Organization, GPO, to consolidate bargaining power, obtain the best prices for selected generic drugs and medical devices, and literally eliminate poor quality companies. This led to the sector consolidation and favor quality pharmaceutical leaders. Another key policy agenda is to foster domestic innovative drugs. This includes facilitating approvals for innovative drugs registration in a move to improve the quality and advancement of the subsector. As a result, we have seen tremendous pickup in innovative drugs pipelines and growth, and literally over re-rating opportunities for innovative drugs makers. On the back of ramp up in investment in innovative drugs, domestic companies are taking on the global stage as they are more advanced and efficient benefiting from low research and development costs in China. For example, two leading Chinese biotech companies had $1 billion dues to out-license their drugs to global players. More domestic biotech companies are also doing multi-country clinical trials, aiming to gain more global market shares. To summarize, we believe the development of China healthcare sector will remain exciting in the years to come. While the sector volatility could be sensitive to various factors such as policy announcements, we believe it shall offer interesting risk return profile for investors, especially through an active bottom-up stock picking approach.